to Lord's Cricket Ground. For many years, this has been the scene of some great Ashes success for both England and Australia. But now a chance for somebody to win a medal in the Olympic archery. Great Britain's women will be disappointed with their showing in the Beijing Olympics. They only made it through to the round of... The Hollywood actress Gina Davis took part in the US trials for the Sydney 2000 Olympics archery team. Months and months of preparation and now it comes down to this. In the red, not bad. End number one, arrow number two. The outer yellow circle, that's nine points. Third arrow must finish this end strongly. Eight more to the total. Well, here's the replay. Well, let's look at the leaderboard at the end of the first end. First arrow, always important. And you can add seven to the total for that. M2, arrow two. Nine more points in the outer yellow circle. This is arrow number three on N2. Good. Nine. Here is the replay. Let's have a look at the scoreboard after that round, and it makes good reading. First place. Next up, Costa representing Great Britain. End three. Arrow number one. Let's add nine more to the total for that arrow. This is arrow number two for this athlete. Well, arrow two locked right on the target. She really needs to lock in on the centre here. The inner red, eight points. Well, let's have a look at the replay. Well, let's look at the leaderboard then. Our good news for Great Britain, who are in first place. This is the first arrow of the final end. Just outside the yellow, that's worth eight. Arrow two. Ten. Last arrow pressures on. Perfect, right down the middle, just what the doctor ordered. Here's the replay of that. There's no doubt that the athletes delighted with that performance, but they're probably going to have to rein in the celebrations a little here. Let's get confirmation of the final standings.
Well, let's take a check on the scoreboard then. And great news for Great Britain. They've moved on with the first place finish. This is where the medals are on the line. A chance to win goal. This is the final of the men's table tennis. Yes, thanks, sir. It goes without saying, he really needs to concentrate on this first serve. Good movement for the backhand. Full stretch for the forehand there. Oh, I'm not sure his opponent is enjoying it as much as the crowd are, but he will take the confidence from that point. Well, we're all witnessing a fantastic game out there, but he takes the point and quite rightly. Looking to force the errors. Big swipe for the forehand. Gets right across the table with the forehand. And it's the forehand back over the net. That backhand will test his opponent. Down low on his knees, reaches for the forehand. So the rally's starting to take shape. He's got to pick himself up after that backhand. Written to serve. Ball zero. Ball one. He's really piling on the pressure now. It's another point one, and it's developing into a good lead. Rally starting to build. Well, that's another point on the board, and it's developing into a good lead here for him. Well, we're one game into this match now, so let's take a look at the scoreboard. Oh, agonizing for him. Just missed out on the point there. His opponent forced the error. He just wasn't good enough there. Zero, two. Well, he was simply just not good enough there. Zero, and he's going to lose the point on that one. Oh, he's got to be pleased with that. The point's his. China to serve. Three, one. Well, he really won't be happy with that. He loses the point there with that play. What a shame. He's trailing here. And the difference between the two players is getting bigger. Playing so well there and quite rightly take the point as a result. Piling the pressure on, they take the point. Where can they go from here? Five, three. Rally starting to build. Oh, he loses the point. He just simply wasn't good enough there. Game point. Six, Oh, he's just starting to frustrate his opponent that little bit more. He takes the point and he's building in confidence. Well, he really has clawed his way back into this match to take it to a third and final game. It's one all. So the rally really starting to take shape. Fantastic rally kept alive with that backhand. Backhand to keep the rally going. 
Zero. They're really showing great play there and quite rightly take the point. Rhythm to serve. One, one. Good, solid play to take the point there. Can he build on it now? Great technique on display with a forehand. What beautiful technique with a backhand there. What a remarkable rally, and it really is going to be crucial to win the point after this. That backhand's not going to help him. China to serve. One, three. This rally really starting to take shape now. He really is rising to the occasion of the Olympic Games. What fantastic play to win the point there. Rally starting to build. That's got to be hard to read with the side spin. That's a woeful backhand. Wow, that backhand. What a joy to watch. Rhythm to serve. Five, one. He's really got the crowd on side now. He wins that point. Can he keep it going? Six, one. Well, he certainly had to dig deep there because at one all, it really could have gone either way. But in the end, it's Great Britain that have the victory. Two games to one. Well, that's all the action we have for you now from this event. Time now to hand back over to Seth Bennett. Alison, thank you. Let's take one last check of the standings. Fully deserving of the gold medal, this is the moment where finally the athlete is crowned the new Olympic champion. Emotions running high, no doubt, as they step onto the podium. Big smiles as the crowd rises one for the national anthem. There'll be tears flowing. This place is rocking, and quite rightly so. The sheer joy and ecstasy on his face tells you everything you need to know about how much winning a medal at the Olympics really means. It has been a quite brilliant day, a historic day as well, and congratulations to all who take home a medal here. to Lords for the final event of this session. The Olympic Games always has a habit of making superstars. There's no reason why this athlete can't be the story of this Games. Well, this is part of every athlete's dreams and she's loving every second. You can add eight for that. Having seen the first arrow, what adjustments will this athlete make for arrow number two? It's a golden arrow, ten points. This is the third arrow. Nine for that arrow. Here's the replay. for Great Britain on the leaderboard. They're in first. Next up, the sponsor representing Great Britain. Here we are, end two. Three arrows gone already. This is the fourth of this matchup. That arrow's worth nine. This is arrow number two of the second end. Great shot for nine. We're fast approaching the midway point in this competition. This is end two, arrow three. Eight. Great Britain 
tiny adjustment required. Halfway through this event and Great Britain are in first place. This is where we sort the wheat from the chaff. N3, arrow one. So close to a ten, that's a nine. Arrow number two then. That's eight. This arrow wraps up end number three. That's eight points for the inner red. Here's the replay. Let's take another look at the leaderboard after another good round for Great Britain, and they sit happily in first place. Three more arrows then. As the wind really picks up its blustery conditions now. And this really is a sport where millimetres count. Nine points. Good shot. Fuds into the board. Resounding sound, that. Let's take a look at that replay. Won anybody's Olympic book. That was an excellent performance from that athlete. And the crowd recognised it too. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And Italy finished with bronze. This is a proud moment for this athlete as the crowd rises one for the national anthem. A lifetime of commitment and years of training and hard work, all for this one moment. Desire and dedication brings you this moment. A moment that leaves a lump in the throat.